Look at this shit. This thing, boy. Yesterday I was somebody's baby. Now today I'm a woman. Oh, my oh, oh, I can't stand. Oh, my goodness. Oh, good morning, good afternoon. Good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to this place that I like to call the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. I had to take a little vacation, went on to Texas, Dallas specifically, for a couple days, and I want to thank my guests who treated me. Well, I was their guest, and I thank them for um, treating me and giving me so much hospitality. Um, it's just so damn hot in Texas. You know, I believe, if you really want to know the truth, um, people in Dallas and people in Houston, they have to go to hell for a vacation because, you know, it's just hot. It's hot. And I also want to give a shout out to anybody and everybody that was affected by uh, the hurricane. I hadn't had a chance to check in with you, family. I hope those that are in that region and in that area came out uh, pretty unscathed, even though it might be a lot of damage to your property. That's a lot different than losing your life. And I'm so glad you're still here. Because, um, you know, that's the most important thing. A lot of times we be thinking about what we lost during these severe weather storms um, and what happened. But the main thing we can come away with is that if we're still alive to tell about it, then we're blessed. Truly blessed. So I just want to give a shout out to all my uh, listeners and family um, in the hurricane area, the Florida, um, Georgia, and all the areas down there that was uh, severely affected by the storm. <clears throat> but this really bothered me because a lot of us take Ubers and... It's important that I pass this information along because a lot of people don't know this. Um, there was a couple that was in a real bad crash. And they revealed why they were not allowed to sue the company. So they want to warn everybody that if you get into a, a accident in an Uber, that's your ass. There's nothing they can do for you. A New Jersey couple suffered life-changing injuries after crashing in an Uber and have now learned that they can't sue the company. Georgia and John McGenty of Princeton, New Jersey, were told by a judge they're bound by a sneaky clause in Uber's terms and conditions which states they cannot take a case to a jury in a court of law. Wow. I, how many of y'all knew that? Because I certainly did it. I, I mean, I I had no idea. As a matter of fact, it wasn't even nothing I thought about. And I guess because we're so used to suing here in America, um, and especially in a car accident, you're thinking you're suing the insurance. But that is not the case. Uber said they're not having it. It says, um, on March 31st, the couple uh, were passengers in a vehicle operated by an Uber driver, Jia Wen Zeng, when Zeng ran a red light and T-boned the vehicle, according to court documents. The Magentes suffered physical injuries. Georgia sustained cervical and lumbar spine fractures, rib fractures, a protruding hernia, a traumatic 
injuries and traumatic injuries to her abdominal wall and public floor. She underwent multiple surgeries and was unable to work from the car accident for a whole year. Y'all hear that? For a whole year, she was unable to work. Wow. Now, John, on the other hand, he fractured his sternum and his arm and wrist and had severe fractures that required him to have open reduction and internal fixation with a bone graft to just address the arm fractures alone. Wow. And now has diminished use and sensations in his left wrist. In February, the couple filed a lawsuit against the company, Zhang, the, the driver, Zhang Hit. Uber filed a motion to compel arbitration which is when they asked the court to enforce a contractual arbitration clause and require the parties to resolve their differences through arbitration instead of litigation. But those injuries wouldn't be compensated by the company because Georgia had accepted the terms and conditions listed in the company's terms of use that users have to accept on the app. Wow. You always got to read that fine print. In the court documents, it said that Magentry has stated that they don't remember seeing a click box on the date of January 8th. They argue they believe their daughter, Julia, then 12, had clicked it while they packed for an upcoming ski trip. At 6.15 that day, Julia ordered food from a restaurant. The couple said they didn't remember if she had ordered it by herself or if Georgia helped her. But they recall that their daughter holding the phone to check the delivery driver's location. Uber argued it was activated as their records showed that Georgia tipped the Uber driver when the food was delivered. I don't get it. Let me keep going. Originally, the New Jersey court denied Uber's motion to compel arbitration, saying it was unenforceable due to an agreement being ambiguous. The Uber would appeal, dragging the lawsuit out until September 30, 20th, when the Superior Court of New Jersey Appellate Division ruled that the, in the company's favor, they wrote in a per curiam opinion featured in the court documents, and this is what they said, we hold that the arbitration provision contained in the agreement under the review, which Georgia or her minor daughter using her cell phone agreed to, and we say is valid and enforceable. The couple told the BBC, how would I ever remotely think that my ability to protect my constitutional rights to a trial would be waived by me ordering some damn food? Wow. Oh, okay. Oh, that is sick. In another case of a company utilizing the arbitration clause, Disney claimed in May um, that a widower whose wife died after suffering a severe allergic reaction at a theme park restaurant could not sue the company because it had previously signed up for the free one-month trial of its Disney and streaming services. So if you um, engage in one... <coughs>
The family claimed that their waiter assured them that the food would be allergen-free. Her husband, Jeffrey Piccolo, filed a wrongful death lawsuit in Florida claiming Walt Disney Parks and Resorts was negligent and failed to properly train their staff about food allergy. But Disney sought to dismiss the suit and argued it should instead be sent to arbitration because of the terms and agreements of its streaming service contract, which includes a binding arbitration clause. See, and this is going to start getting real, real difficult simply because everything and everyone is part of a corporation. Corporations uh, have literally taken over everything. Okay, the United States is a big corporation. A lot of people don't want to admit that, but it's the truth. It's the truth. So this is very interesting. So now they're not going to be compensated at all. And they all broken up. What y'all think about that? Or did you know that? Maybe I'm the one on the late show. Hell. Do y'all, did, did you guys know that? That if you get into an accident in the Uber, truck, car, lift, that that's your butt? That if they get into an accident, there's no recourse for you? This is really sad. Anyway, tell me what you think about it, if you knew that. If I'm the one on the late show. Okay? And um, if you like what you hear, please subscribe to my channel. Y'all kind of tardy with the likes and clicks. All I ask you to do is like the video. I don't ask for much, not much, I just want a little bit, uh, not much, I just want you to click it for me, not much. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.